I'm not pulling your leg when I say that these 3D prints are highly functional because the majority of the items on this list are things that I actually use on a daily basis. My take on 3D printing is to explore all the different things you can print, especially the things that are functional. 3D printing is no different than creating art or being an artist except that we can't really draw, so we have to use CAD instead. Think about it. We quite literally pull ideas out of our brain, form them on the computer, and then throw them on the printer to bring them into fruition. The 3D prints that I will be showing you today are five designs that I use pretty frequently, some more than others. However, they are all designs that serve a purpose, and I would most definitely categorize them as highly functional. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first design on the list are these parts drawers that I designed a few months back. And I'm sure you are probably thinking, really? Parts drawers are the first things you put on the list? Well, hear me out. Yes, it's true they are regular parts drawers. However, by designing them, I now have the flexibility to customize the dividers in each drawer, as well as have the ability to expand them out with more and more as I go. For example, let's say I fill all of these up and want to print another set of four, and then another set of four. Even if I wanted to scale them up for larger parts, I could do that too. The parts drawers are composed of three different designs. That would be the handle, the drawers themselves, and then the main cabinet. Overall, these take about nine hours to print, and that is working across three different printers. However, I was able to add all the handles uh, to create one bin and one print bed, all of the drawers on another print bed, and then of course you can print the main bin on one print bed. Um, and that will quickly speed up the process and only have to make you do three prints instead of all parts individually, which would be awful. If you are interested in checking out this design, uh, you can find it on my website below. I'll have the link to this specific design in the link below. Second on the list is this Echo Dot stand. I know I have several Echo Dots in my house and my biggest pet peeve with all of them is the messy wire clutter they would leave when plugged into a wall outlet. Whether they were sitting on a countertop or a nightstand, it would always be impossible to hide the wires. And it's just not aesthetically pleasing to have a device that's supposed to be aesthetically pleasing not be aesthetically pleasing. To fix this problem, I decided to design a stand that would allow me to wrap the wires around the back and clean up all of the mess. In the center of the design is this little divot that matches the bottom contour of the Echo Dot. So when you set it in place, it comfortably sits where it is supposed to be. This prints in regular PLA or PLA Plus, and I usually print them at a finer resolution since they are a pretty visible object in the different rooms I have them in. Once again, if you are interested in this design, you can find it in the link below on my website. Third on the list is this soldering station. I always need to solder wires together for various projects, and I always end up wrapping the wires together and awkwardly positioning them so I have just enough clearance to not catch anything on fire. This soldering station by Landon81 on Thingiverse is a quick and simple little print that I can quickly throw the wires into and not worry about being a fire hazard. It even has a little divot at the bottom to collect any solder that might fall. The alternative to printing a station like this is paying 30 plus dollars on Amazon for helping hands. And while they might do a better job for more complex jobs, if you are just needing to solder two wires together, this does just the job. I printed this in PLA Plus and I have to be honest, at first I was concerned about the close proximity of the soldering iron when actually soldering the wires together to the plastic. I thought that the plastic might deform and render this little soldering station unusable. However, that wasn't the case as I was happily surprised and I see no signs of being able to use this for multiple different jobs. Overall, it is a super easy print and above that functional. Fourth on the list is this little simple screwdriver uh, slash hex bit holder. Now this guy is an extremely simple print, but that's why I love it so much. It's a really easy print. It doesn't take very long and you can print three or four of them to place in strategic locations where you are always looking for a screwdriver and never have one. You can throw one in your nightstand or center console for whenever you need it and it takes up very little space. I print it at 100% infill and a 0.2 layer height, so it is as strong as possible. And I have to be honest, it does the job of a normal screwdriver pretty well. All of your hex bits should friction fit inside of it, so you don't have to worry about them falling out. And I pretty much use this little print at least five or six times a week. If you are on the fence about printing it because you think it might not be durable, 
uh, don't be. If I didn't know that this was a 3D printed screwdriver and no one told me that it was, I definitely wouldn't know the difference between this and a normal screwdriver. It's definitely durable and it can definitely do the job that you need it to do. The last design on the list are these interlockable modules by O3D. Now there are a few different reasons why I like these just as much as the parts drawers I designed that were first on the list. And part of this reason is in the name. They are interlockable. Having this interlockable design allows you to print and expand to literally an entire wall if you'd like. They also have more volume for storage than the drawers I designed. The provided designs allow you to print them with or without the divider and as you can see they have quite a bit of space for microphones, flash drives, or anything else that you might be able to fit inside of them. These interlockable modules also print in three pieces with the longest printing time going to the main bin that holds the drawer. Next is the actual drawer itself and then the knob that is located on the front. I printed all of these with eSun PLA Plus and in my opinion aside from maybe one or two slicer settings that weren't correct I think they turned out pretty good. As you can see, both parts bins sit on my desk and for small parts, camera equipment, and small nuts and bolts, they are pretty perfect for what they are used for. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these five designs. If there are any designs that you would like to see printed, don't forget to throw that in the comment section too before you leave. And if you've watched this far, thank you very much. And like always, I'll see you in the next one.